Hello and welcome. Today, I want to show you our brand new tool called Keyword Manager that allows you to create and manage keyword lists, manually add them from the keyword research and competitive research tools, as well as export them to XLS, CSV, or other SE ranking tools. With the help of the Keyword Manager tool, you are able to add, update, and save keyword lists for different regions and manage them all from a single hub. Plus, you can keep tabs on keyword metrics, SERP features, and your top competitors to see how they change over time. All right, now let me show you how you can access the tool in SEO ranking and what you can do with it. Start by going either to the competitive research tool at the very top uh, of the navigation bar um, or to the keyword research tool. I'm gonna go for the keyword research tool for this video. Here on the left-hand side, you should see uh, keyword manager under the expand database option. Let's click on it. Since we don't have any keyword lists yet, let's create a new one. I'm going to give my keyword list a simple name. It's going to be keyword list 2022. And then by checkmarking this option, I am able to now add keywords to my list. So I can either type them manually here one by one, paste them from a document that where I copied it from, or import a file. I have already copied um, a couple of keywords from a list that I have somewhere else so i'm just going to paste it here like this and last thing that we need to do here is that make, make sure that we have selected the right database um, for our keywords in this case it is the us database all right let's finish creating our list and here we have it in our list of um, in our in our table of all the keyword lists that we have but before we continue uh, exploring this area let's go back to the keyword research tools uh, and I'll show you how you can uh, add keywords from this specific tool. So just enter any keyword of your interest. Once all the data loads up, you will have uh, a block here that includes similar related and low search volume keywords. Uh, and you can click to view detailed reports right over here, or you can go on the left-hand side and click the keyword suggestions uh, tab. Here we see all the information available um, uh, with regard to suggestions for the analyzed keyword. So there's a lot of information to di digest here. Plus you have a lot of different tabs that you can click on. Find a keyword that you're interested in, hover over it, and you should see the three dot icon on to the right of each keyword. So by clicking on it, we will see a menu that allows us to add a, um, this keyword to one of the keyword lists that we have. So here we can see we have uh, the keyword list that we just created, created, or we can create a new list here on the spot. Besides uh, adding keywords individually one by one, we can also do this in bulk. So just click on a couple of keywords that you're interested in adding to your keyword list and go over here at the top and click the add to button where you have the option of uh, adding the keyword once again to a keyword list of your choice, or you can even add it directly to a project so that you can keep track of its rankings. All right, so that's it for the keyword research tool. Now, let, let us go to the competitive research tool. Here, the idea is basically the same, but instead of a keyword, we are going to enter a website. So just to keep it simple, I'm gonna enter apple.com. And as I scroll down here, we have a list of all the organic keywords that apple.com targets an organic search. Um, we can click on this button over here to access the full report, or we can go on the left-hand side here, go to organic traffic research and click on keywords. And here we can see all of the keywords that uh, are organically targeted by this, the analyzed website. And once again, just find a keyword that you're inter interested in, hover over it and to the right, you should see the three dot icon that will allow you to add uh, this keyword to a keyword manager, uh, a keyword list, or you can create a new list here on the spot again. Or just uh, once again, as, as you can do with the keyword research tool, you can select a couple of keywords and add them to a keyword manager list like so. Um, all right, now let us get to the good part and show you actually what the keyword manager is all about. So the keyword manager, uh, allows us to create a couple of uh, a lot of lists of of keywords and then manage them to keep track and analyze them over time to see what changes and perhaps you will be uh, interested in adding them to your 
integrating them into your content and keeping track of them as well. So here we have the name of the list. Then we have the option of adding all the keywords from this list to uh, one of the projects to start keeping track of its rankings. Then we have the option to edit, edit the keyword list. So it's the name, the database, and the list of keywords itself. Or you can just delete it here by clicking this button, or we can check mark the entire list and delete it like this. Then we have a couple of columns. We have the keywords, which indicates the total number of keywords there are in this keyword list. Then we have the average keyword difficulty, uh, which means how difficult it, difficult it will be to get all of these keywords to rank among the top 10 search results. Then we have the search volume, the total search volume for all the keywords in the list. Once again, this is a combined value for the entire list. And at the very end, we have the date when this list was created. Now let us dive a bit deeper and see the actual list itself. All right, so on the left-hand side, we see the search engine that is selected, the database of that search engine, plus we have a keyword, uh, the keywords themselves, along with the option to, of adding each individual keyword to project rankings. Then we have a couple of columns that I want to want to show you guys. So we have the keyword difficulty score that I mentioned before, but this one applies to individual keywords. Then we have the search volume. Once again, four um, individual keywords here, not a combined value. Then we have the level of Google ads competition. And by the way, we have tool tips here and you can just hover over them and see what exactly this means. So this means that the number of advertisers that are displayed for the keywords in the, in the list in relation to all of the keywords across all tracked search engines. So basically, basically the higher this number is, the more difficult it will be for your web pages to appear in, uh, among the top results in Google ads, uh, ads campaigns. Uh, next up, we have the cost per click, which is the actual price you have to pay per click uh, in your pay-per-click uh, pay campaign. So basically any user that interacts with your ads, this is the uh, cost of that click at that interaction. Uh, and then we have the list of SERP features that uh, are displayed in search for each of the keywords in the list. So this may be, maybe you see a keyword that has a lot of going on and perhaps you want to target it and, and integrate it into your content. And the last column is organic results. So the name speaks for itself, but, but by clicking on the show button, we can see the exact uh, top results for uh, the for a, key, a keyword that we want that we want to look at take a closer look at. So here we have the title of that page, the URL of that page. We have the traffic uh, traffic volume column. We have the total cost of driving uh, this traffic volume to this website. This is the cost of that traffic of uh, acquiring acquiring that traffic. And then at the very end we have the, the total number of keywords that this specific website targets in organic search. Uh, and the last thing that I want to show you guys is uh, these little buttons over here. So the first one is columns, allows us to toggle on um, all the different columns on and off. Then we have filters that allow us to sort keywords by their difficulty, search volume, level of competition, cost per click, and SERP feature. So this, is, this allows you to easily work with th thousands uh, of keywords just depending on what you're interested in finding out more. And here we have the option to export all these uh, keywords along with the data to an XLS or CSV file, uh, where, and, and you continue, can, can continue working with uh, and on, on, on analyzing this data with your colleagues, clients, or senior management. And at the very bottom, we have yet another way of uh, adding keywords to this list so that you don't have to go back and forth to expand your keyword list. That is it guys for the keyword manager tool. Uh, let us know via chat what you think about it or reach out to us via email. We'd love to know uh, what, what you guys think about this, uh, this new tool. And make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay on top of everything that is going on with our, uh, with our platform and to see uh, all the new stuff that we put out. Uh, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.